Hi everyone, I'm back for one more video with uh, another uh, marbling technique uh, that, well, I like to believe that uh, I create also this, this one. Uh, today we are going to, to make two different effects of flames. The, the classic flames and uh, the other one that I create that uh, I like to call it a uh, sea of flames. But before that, I want to show you the final result of the wrap that we did in the last video. Okay, so as you guys can see, as always, I made a, a few trim wraps. Uh, in this case, I used the uh, orange, white and dark blue. Uh, because this way, the, the, the wrap have a more uh, finished look, as I always like to... To do on my on my builds so this is the final result of the comb technique okay so today we are going to make uh, two different kinds of, of flames and for that we are going to use uh, five colors so we have black for the base color we have clementine pop bumblebee gold sparks and a new color that will be available uh, um, next February on ICRBE in Winston-Salem and will be red, okay? So I already applied the base coat on, on this one uh, to save some time to try to keep the, the video a, a little shorter. So I'm going to start to put some red in here and make a stripe all around the, the red. I always start with the, the darker color. It will be the, the base of the flames. And now I'm going to use the orange, the clementine pop. Really nice, this color. I think I already said this in the last video, but I love this one. Okay, going to the top, it's ready. Sorry about the, the background noises, but there's nothing I can do about it. And now, the bumblebee. So this is what I call the traditional uh, flames. I'm only gonna use these three colors the red, the clementine pop and the bumblebee. And okay, we have the three colors applied with the, the, the toothpick as usual. So for this one and to design, the, the, to draw the, the flames I'm gonna stop the motor and I'm gonna do it really slowly I'm going to wave with the toothpick around the colors, like this. Because fire, it's not straight. It has some waves and some different nuance and I want to try to replicate that in here. The first part it's done, but I need to mix more the colors to look more like like flames. So I'm gonna use the, the this other tool that I already show you in the, the previous videos to mix more the the colors. Always waving. Also uh, I forgot to tell you guys that this finish, it's eye build as usual, and it's already start to to set a little because this way I can keep the the design in an easier way. So you just keep waving 
in the colors until you feel happy with the result. I'm happy. So I'm going to put the motor working again and just let it set for a minute or two to see if it is the way it is supposed to be. Okay? Okay, now we are going to start to make the the second flame wrap. Uh, I'm going to start doing the same as I did in the first. I'm going to put a strap of each color. This time I'm going to use the, the gold sparks too. But I'm going to leave more space between them. They are not going to be so close to each other. Red is done. Now the orange. Another another thing that I was not doing in the in the first videos. It's this to wear gloves. We have a tendency to forget to use the gloves when working with, with finish, but we should always work with gloves. Uh, they are rare, but there are records of uh, some. Um, reactions, allergic reactions to the finish and to prevent that we always should use gloves when working with, with finish ok, now I'm going to put small dots of gold between the other colors And after the yellow too. Okay, see if it's enough. Now again with the toothpick, I will wave around the colors. see that the colors are starting to mix. I'm going to use a, a torch and I'm going to um, use the torch in, in the, in, on the, the, the colors that I add to the, the black uh, coat. Uh, this will make uh, like uh, um, explosions of the colors that we added. You, you will see it. Finish should be a little more set. So, as you can see, we have like color explosions. Uh, try to not eat too much the, the finish because we don't want the colors to swirl around just want them to explode okay after all these explosions we do repeat the waving with the toothpick again The sea of flames is starting to look good. It's 
So after this we can add a few dots of color in points that we think they are not looking good. And we hit them with them again with the torch. I think a little gold in here. It's needed. And some yellow in here. Applying the flame briefly over all the color spots. is starting to look good. You all you can you can add keep keep adding spots of color until you think it's the way you want that the wrap looks. Nice background noise again. We are near the street in my workshop, so I can't do anything about it. Okay, that's it. As you can see, uh, you have uh, um, more diffused flames over all the, the wrap. And on the first wrap that we did, the, the, the classic flames, the flames have a, a more defined look and it's just a matter of taste if you like more than one or another remember that you can you can try this with the blue with green with pink with all the the colors that that you want uh, because well your imagination can make fire on any color that you think will look nice on your on your rod so that's it I hope that you guys like it and I promise that soon will be another video available.